morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Marcus Stone, and I'm the host of the Daily Dose, and I would like to welcome you to the next day of your new life. See, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. What would you do with yours today on this beautiful May 30th, 2019, the year of consistency and the second quarter of power? That's right. It is Throwback Thursday, and I didn't come to play today. I came to slay. I got to give some of your friends, family members, or co-workers that antidote, baby. They need a double shot. They need a syringe in their arm, and I'm just the person to give it to them, but I can't do it myself. I need y'all help, so on the count of three, do me my favorite thing, one, two, three, and Hulk smash that share button, because today's topic is going to be fire. Oh my gosh, dosers, I love, the intro is one of my favorite parts of the show. How y'all doing today? It's Throwback Thursday, y'all pumped up, y'all excited, y'all ready to get this day going? Let me know by smashing the like button and smashing the love button. I know Leanne Ryan Smith held the VIP door for some of you guys that are fashionably late. What are you fashionably late with? Workout gear, pajamas, <laughs> freaking dress, <laughs> that's something else. But if you came late, if you're tardy to the party, Lyric, tell them what to do. What smash That's right, we got to get the antidote out to everybody. If you're going to be late, at least share it out. Hashtag replay if you're checking in on the replay. Today's topic is going to be pretty cool because I have a question. Do you ever think what if, I know all of us think, you know, I don't know any statistics or anything like that, but I'm willing to bet that we think probably 75% of the day our brain is just wondering, thinking something. I'm curious, what do you think about it? I heard this guy a long time ago named Walter Bond. I went to see him speak publicly, and he said, do you think about what you think about? And I thought that was pretty interesting. But my question today is, do you ever think what if... I'm a little bit curious. Have you ever asked yourself that question and your brain just in silence? You say, what if? What if? Well, I got some really cool what ifs, and today we're going to do a spoken word dose <laughs> because I haven't done one of those in a long time, and I love spoken word dose. That's where all you guys in the, in the dose land, y'all are just... <laughs> today, we are going to focus on closing our eyes and opening our mind and visualizing the antidote today. Not if you're driving, though. But if you're catching this on YouTube or if you're catching this on the replay or if you're still laying in bed or getting ready or you're in the shower or something like that, just close your eyes and visualize. Let's go ahead and get into the antidote. The antidote is a medicine taken a given to counteract a particular poison. Now, Marcus, it's 6.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time Zone. The dose house is starting to get filled to capacity with people who want that antidote. I think it's time to refill some prescriptions. Hit them with the antidote. All right, today we are going to talk about what if. Again, if you have the ability to close your eyes and open your mind, now is the time. Because we are going to do spoken word dose, and I really want you guys to be visualize everything that I'm about to say. So if you can do that, go ahead and do so. If you can't because you're driving or whatever the case may be, I just still want you to imagine this while you're on your way to work in the car, or you're sitting at work, or you're sitting in isolation. Just visualize what I'm about to say. So what if you actually woke up early? Hmm. This is for the people on a replay. For all my live people, I love you to death. <laughs> but what if you actually woke up early? What would happen? What if you got that workout in that you've been dreading so long? You said you were going to do it at the beginning of the year. You said that you were going to do it yesterday. You said you'd do it on lunch break. You said you'd do it when you get off of work. But what would actually happen if you got that workout in and you got consistent? What if you tried just a little bit harder than what you're normally doing, what you're usually doing right now? What would happen? Just a little bit harder, not a lot harder. What would happen if you tried just a little bit harder? What would happen if you didn't give an excuse for everything that went wrong? Think about that for a second. What would happen if you actually took some accountability? How would your self-esteem grow? How would you grow as a person? What if you chose to smile instead of getting mad when something bad happened? Think about that for a second. If you chose to just smile, you know, smiles are infectious, they're contagious, they can impact other people, activity breeds other pe uh, activity breeds activity. So maybe if you smile that may impact somebody else. You know, what if you actually helped someone instead of hurting them? Hmm. Think about that for a second. You think that may have some long-term results? What if you chose joy instead of anger and retaliation? Get out of town. What would life be like for you if you actually chose joy instead of anger and retaliation? 
What if you chose to eat a healthy meal over a bad one? What if you think what if you actually did that consistent consistently? You think maybe a notch or something would come off the belt? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what if you actually told the truth instead of lying all the time? You ever have those habitual liars, people that just lie for, for no reason, lie for the sake of, you know, oh, maybe that's you and maybe you don't want anybody to know that. But what if? What if you told the truth? I wonder what would change. Hmm. Something to think about. What if you chose to educate instead of letting the problem go by? You ever ignore a problem? Something that you know needs to be addressed? Something that you know would help the person, but you think, ah, maybe this person doesn't listen or this and that. What if you chose to educate that person as, as opposed to letting the problem consistently occur? What would happen? Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Brace yourself. What if you chose to invest in yourself instead of continuing to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over? Huh? I wonder what would happen. You know that that's the definition of insanity, right? You just keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. How many of us are certifiably insane? Ask yourself. <laughs> are you certifiably insane by doing the same things over and over and over and over and over and over, but you keep expecting something different to happen? Hashtag invest in yourself. I'm just saying. Dose you. You know. <laughs> What if you chose to forgive that person instead of carrying on all that weight? Do you know we give power to a lot of people? We give people a power to a lot of people. We care so much what people think about us. We, we care so much of other people's perception of us. We've developed this awesome DNA for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. And yet we let people that are complete strangers to us that we barely even know on social media to control us. Hmm. <laughs> what if you chose to expand your mind? You know they say we only use like a small part of our brain, right? What if you chose to actually expand your mind and learn a new skill, learn a new craft, read a new book, learn a new hobby? What if you chose to expand your mind? I wonder what that would look like. What if you decided to get outside of that comfort zone that you've been living in? You know your little your little snuggy bubble? <laughs> That you just feel so comfortable in. You get your Snuggie on every day. Because it just makes you feel so warm and comfortable. Your little nice little Snuggie bubble. <laughs> Man, if you don't take that Snuggie bubble off, we're going to have some problems. <laughs> Life is amazing outside of that Snuggie comfort, whatever that little heated blanket thing is. <laughs> what if you stopped being scared and you actually just went all the way in? Like, dived off the cliff, jumped out the window instead of... uh putting your toe into the water or if you just dived all the way in what will happen what will happen let me tell you yesterday i was almost about to run a little bit late and uh you know how we like to get the the shower all warmed up before we actually get in well yesterday i didn't get an opportunity to let the shower warm up i just jumped all the way in and all that cold water hit me and let me tell you it felt good <laughs> give it a shot if you haven't taken a shower yet, give it a shot today. I want everybody to do it. When y'all do it, I want you to come back to this post and I want you to comment on it. I want you to send me a direct message. I want everybody to not let the shower warm up today. I just want you to dive right on into it with cold. And let me and let me know how you feel. You can be like, Marcus, woo! It felt crazy at first. I didn't know if I could do it. I was tingling. It was cold. But after about four or five seconds, oh my gosh, I got used to it. And it wasn't as bad as I thought. If you could do that in a shower, what would happen to your life if you just jumped all in? It may feel uncomfortable for about four or five seconds, but once you start adapting to it, once your body starts getting used to it, once your brain starts getting used to it, you may say, holy crap, this is amazing. You know that feeling when you jump into a pool in the summertime for the first time? You're so excited. Woohoo! Feels good, right? Apply that to your life. <laughs> What if you actually focused on the solution instead of the problem? Oh my gosh, somebody put a, a hashtag, a star, a shooting star, a, a big emoji. I mean, man, that's it right there. That's the secret sauce right there. What if you actually focus more on the solution than you did the problem? How many of us focus more on the problem, complain about the problem, always talk about the problem, but never offer a solution? 
That's the secret sauce right there. What if you focus more on a solution than you did the problem? You just might not have as many problems anymore. What if you actually gave a damn about your life? <laughs> Man, I know some people that hit home right now. I'm sorry. I didn't come on a daily dose to tell you what you want to hear. I come on a daily dose to tell you what you need to hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry. But what if you actually gave a damn about your life? I wonder what that would look like. <laughs> what if you poured your all into your relationship? Anybody out there hashtag guilty right now? What if you poured your all into it? Not 80%, not 90%. What if you poured your all into your relationship? We can all do better, right? Don't worry, I'm looking in the mirror right now too. I'm with y'all. I'm on the other side of the bar taking a double dose shot. <laughs> what if? Uh... What if I did to others what I would want done to me? Man, did we have a deep dose today? Did I touch home to somebody today? Did somebody feel me this morning? Did somebody get a tingling sensation when, when, when I said something? Did somebody have an afterthought? Did somebody say, dang, Marcus, you're right. Did, did I get any of that? Can I get some likes and loves for that? Can I... Can I get something out of that? Can I get a can I get a share right now because some of your friends, family members, coworkers may need to hear this? Did I resonate with somebody today? Did I did, did we make a connection today? Were we on the same wavelength today? What if? The good thing about it is if you're breathing right now, you don't have to ask, ask, ask that question what if. You have the ability to just do. We all are capable if you're breathing right now, you're capable. You're more than capable of accomplishing the opposite of what you don't want to happen right now. You just gotta apply a little bit of effort, baby. A little bit of effort. I told somebody this at my job the other day. I said, you know what? What's crazy is I don't ask for people to do anything at work except for their job. Their job is the requirement. I highly recommend going above and beyond However, it is not required. The only thing that I require you to do is your job, which is a specific set of things that's designed, that's designed to get results. Now, the icing on the cake, that's the goal. That's what we go for. What if you went above and beyond? Let's say that you're an average person or you're a mediocre person. What if? What if? Give it a shot. See what happens. I'm just a little bit curious. You guys like the shirt? You can head on over to the Daily Dose Store. You can actually get you one. The DailyDoseStore.com has all my swag and my merch. It ain't expensive. I'm sorry. I don't give them away for free. I actually you know, take time to design this stuff, uh, but they don't cost a lot of money. But you can head on over to the DailyDoseStore.com and get you some swag. I got shirts. I got hats. I got backpacks and all that kind of stuff. If you want to support, I greatly appreciate it. But if not, I get it. I understand. Everybody got a little money crunch. It's all good. But what if? Ask yourself, do this today, dosers. Here's the deal. That's the antidote for today. If you want to check out any of the Daily Dose episodes, they're all on YouTube. If you want to show these in your meeting, if you want to show these to a friend, you can catch them all on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Marcus Stone. You're going to see the Daily Dose hat face. Subscribe to that dude. Grab your Thor hammer and bang that notification bell so you can always get notified of when a video uploads. And then if you want to catch me live, you definitely got to go to the like page. The Daily Dose Show, the one with the thumbs up. Hit the three dots underneath that. And then you got to hit that following and see first button and change those notification settings so you can always know when I go live. Hey, Check out the well, outro. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to The Daily Dose. I hope you got your antidote today. Your daily dose of positivity, inspiration, and motivation. Check me out every Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone on Facebook Live. And don't forget to Hulk smash that share button. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to go on my Peloton bike, and I'm about to get, get, get it. I be dripping sweat. I highly recommend you get one of them if you can. But anyway, I do what I do from the heart, and I don't expect nothing in return. I'm just a kid from the south side of Chicago that's here to make the world smile and change people's lives. Can I do it? Thank you for allowing me into your day. Y'all have a fantastic throwback Thursday. Peace.